It has been confirmed by a DJI employee on the DJI Developer Forum that a SDK will be released for the Mini 3 series. This is super good news because this will potentially turn your Mini 3 drone into a beast by adding superpowers allowing third-party apps to connect to the drone. In this way, you will gain access to features that is not provided by the standard offerings of the DJI Flyer. Especially the more budget-friendly Mini 3 series could really benefit from this. SDK stands for software development kit and is a collection of software development tools provided in one installation package. SDKs are designed to give developers the tools that they need to develop a specific application or component. They often include libraries, API documentation, sample code, tools for development and also ways for deploying the application. Examples of this is the Maven app that has been adding some pretty cool unique features like the cable cam to the DJI Mini 2. If you're curious about that feature, I have left a link for that video in the description below. I've been in contact with Michele Vignetti, that is the solo developer of the Maven app, and he confirms this rumor as well. But as he says, there are pros and cons. The current version of the SDK version 5.2 was released last year, but only with support for Android as well as DJI's professional line of drones. Meaning the Matrice series, the Enterprise edition, as well as multispectral editions of the Mavic 3. But currently, no support for the prosumer versions of the Mavic 3 series. They plan to release a version 4.3, with support for the Mini 3. And this version will most likely be Android only as well. It's kind of weird that they decided to add the Mini 3 support to their professional line of drones. It would have been more logical to extend the current supported uh, mobile SDK 416 to 417 to include the Mini 3. And I will shortly explain why. The available roadmap for the mobile SDK version 4 has not been updated since version 4.16 for both iOS and Android. Because these are two different SDKs, the version 4 and the version 5 cannot coexist, at least to our knowledge, in the same app. This could potentially mean that the developers would have to develop and maintain two different apps to support this. From a bug and development perspective, this is less than ideal. So this will unfortunately break the backward compatibility of third-party apps that you have been purchasing. Unless the developers find a way to work around that. I will leave that to the experts. Nevertheless, this is great news. But what about the timing? According to the employee on the DJI Developer Forum, they plan to release version 5.3 early Q2 2023. So this means that we will see the Mini 3 support in a couple of months from now. So what do you think about all of this? Or have you picked up additional info that you want to share with us? Then do it in the comments below. If you want to check out what potentially could be possible with your Mini 3 series of drones, then I made a video that is covering the Maven app and you'll be able to access this video through this card. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.